Welcome to our pizza journey and today I'm going to be using wood. <laughs> I'm going to be using not the gas but I'm going to be using wood in the rock box for the first time ever. I'm going to light these. I've put three in there. I'm going to light them. They fall into the bottom down there so I'm going to get my gas machine on there now and a little burner light those up and then put some kindling inside that didn't take long stick these in anyway that'll get it going hmm lovely smell I think I need to get my oven gloves because that's going to get hot. So just going to check. Ooh, it's a lovely flame. Ah, I'm impressed. I need to just make sure I've got those um, those kindling bits topped up. I just get my gloves. It's been. Not very long, about a minute. From my experience of good kindling, they do tend to last a good, it's a good time. So I'm just gonna put those in now. And shut that up there. So I made um, um, a gas uh, pizza about half an hour ago and I took off the gas burner with my gloves and because you just unscrew this but the, the actual this part was cold so it was really easy to do i thought it was gonna like be risking my health and safety taking the gas burner off to put the, the wood burner on but it wasn't it was only the top bit that was actually hot so what i that's done it's already warmed the oven up for me a lot to start my wood fire and already the oven is very hot and because this oven has very good heat retention uh, it's staying at 400 degrees with my wood because I got the gas up to 400 as a first time it just so happened that I was making a gas pizza and then I thought I'd have a go with the wood but actually I think it's a good way to get your oven warmed up. I think, if you're very careful with your gloves, um, it's a good way to do it. And you're not using up all of these just to uh, warm up your stone. You turbocharge your, your stone up with a gas bottle, but then you benefit from the, the cook of a wood flame. So I'm just going to see how long this is taking to like go oh yeah be careful always use a glove and I, know, I know I'm using my fingers but I do use I do do a lot of wood cooking Ooh. I'm gonna get as many in here as I can and then I'm gonna go make my pizza make sure the oven doesn't go down in temperature. Oh, I can fit quite a lot of these in, in here actually. Just to keep it going for a good 10 minutes. I think that's about it. Right, I'm gonna shut that up and go and make my pizza. I'll just check the oven temperature as well. So that's maintain, maintaining it at a good 400 and I'll just show you the inside with the flame. It's beautiful. Ooh. Lovely. Right, let's go make it.
just come back to fill up the uh, the engine here this oven so you might want to use gloves to do this don't show you that it's still hot and I also want to show you how much I've used uh, so how much of how many how much kindling pieces I've used because this was a full box so I've used about 20 pieces of kindling okay so now I'm going to oh look at that nice Well, it's the right temperature, so I'm just going to get this in. Oh, my peel. Hang on. No, I'm not. I've got to find my peel. Where have I put it? I've got it. Okay. Let's get it in. Okay. Launch issue. This. Yeah, see? <laughs> I have less sticky issues than... This. So, see, look, it's stuck. And I don't normally get that with my wooden one. So, this is going to be an out of shape pizza, but I'm still going to carry on. I think I'm going to just have to get used to that launching peel. Go back a bit, the heat coming from there is really strong. Oh, my dough is so fluffy today. <laughs> Can you see that massive bubble? Oh, my gosh. It's even bursting through the pepperoni topping. It's so big. I'll show you. When... See, there, look. It's so... <laughs> I did not want a fluffy dough today. I was trying to do a thin one. nearly done. My camera's gonna overheat in a minute. Is that done? I think maybe just on my little strange bit there. Just a little bit more. Look at that flame at the back. I just wanted to show you the temperature of the stone as well after my cook so it's it's retaining its heat very well there. It's been about 15 minutes since the cook. I just wanted to show you the uh, what happens at the end, how much is left and everything. So I didn't top it up other than the last bit I showed you. So that's 
So it's burned it all away. Just, uh, yeah, nothing left. Which is good. So I'll, when that's cool, I'll just put the ashes on the garden. It's all done. It's, and I'll also show you at 15 minutes after the oven has stopped. There's no flames. Still that high. Great re heat retention on this oven. Flame is completely out, but still very hot in there. And as you can see, the top of my oven has gone like my other wood fired oven, all sooty, but that is easily, when it's cool, you just wipe it all off and it all comes back to sparkling self. Well, that's my, that's about as good as cleaning my oven gets. Perfect. base so there's a few things from this cook they're all quite new I've used that uh, launch peel I'm just getting the hang of it it is sticking more than my wooden one so I need to practice because I don't want to put much flour on it so I have to have a practice Looking good. Give that a try first. See that massive bubble? You saw that I rolled this this dough out. It was so bubbly. It's not hot. I use the same amount of <clears throat> of yeast that I normally do, but no change to my recipe. So I don't know why. That's my launch stick. Can you see the? where it got stuck on the peel. And then that bit just went funny above it. So let's rip that bit open and see what it looks like. Doughy, <laughs> it looks really doughy. I was trying to get it thin. Oh no, that didn't work, did it? Hmm. Seems like the cave. I know how long it takes for wood to heat up a stone and you need big logs, big logs and lump wood to heat up a stone. So if you can put the gas on it first, because that burner at the back is, isn't huge. So you need to get that oven started with stone temperature going up with a gas 
remove the gas thing. It was cold when I did it, but always use oven gloves. This is only if you, you know, don't mind doing this. I mean, I'm happy doing it. It's all, I think it's very safe for me to do it. So I'm not very good with things like that, but remove the gas, put the wood on, and your stone is all ready to go. And you've got like, you can make one pizza with the gas and then quickly just change over and make another pizza with wood. So that's what I would do. I mean, I could start it all off with the kindling, but I'd be using up a lot of that kindling. And actually I'd just rather use the gas and do it quicker, seeing that it's so easy to change over at the back, which I'm thinking, was that designed for that? I don't know, but it works. So it's a very nice pizza. First cooked with wood and I really enjoyed it. It's just that my dough kind of went, my dough was very fluffy, fluffy dough day. Very good, very nice. Thank you.